This is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, April 29th, through this coming Sunday, May 5th, 2024. So what's your inner calling? No matter what you're drawn to, those ideas are there for a reason. Those inner calling ideas. And you're meant to follow your inner calling and to fulfill your desires. Anything else is a departure from your soul intentions. Follow your heart and honor your uniqueness. Express your authentic soul energy. By following what's in your heart, you're going to grow in wonderful ways because often you will need to face your fears. You will need to think outside of the box and you will need to forge the path where others have not tread. You'll be setting the example for others to follow and to benefit. And your guides are constantly assisting you with this process. You're shown things that intrigue you, to nudge you to find out more. You're given hunches to get more information for things. You're given ideas that inspire you and make you seek more. You're given downloads seemingly out of nowhere of wonderful thoughts that make you want to know more about them. And all of this is on purpose. And to add to the wonderful design of it all, most of these ideas are little ideas, small tidbits, because life is full of joy and fun. This process is not only about being given great big life-changing ideas that require a lot of input and planning, change and work to accomplish. It's more about the details of a good life the details that guarantee your success. So in your life, yes, you are guaranteed to have a few of these big outcome ideas to get you on the right track with life-changing, inspirational, wonderfulness, because that's how we honor our life path and our highest potential. But on a more personal basis, by following the smaller, intriguing ideas, the ideas that say, learn a new skill or take a trip or redecorate your house or change your eating patterns. These, these are tweaking your life for the better. And you're maintaining the joy in your life as you ensure amazing desired outcomes that come through this personalized tweaking. So pay attention. Participate. Participate with your inner calling. Don't deny your life and what makes you happy. Pay attention to what's in your heart and what inspires you on any given day. Follow the leads and allow yourself to explore and experience new things because new vistas of happiness are calling for you. Yeah, and to help in your alignment for happiness and to be able to really identify and understand your inner calling, have a reading. We can open your energy and allow better outcomes, better alignment, better ways for you to recognize and participate with your council of guides. And all the information for your reading is on my website, spiritpathways.net. And tarot, 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 learning this amazing, the energy, all the amazing things that this deck holds for you. Wow. All the amazing portals and vortexes <laughs> and yes 
You always pull the perfect cards, no matter what. You can try shuffling them back in, but the exact card that you are meant to have is always going to present itself because that's the information you need. That's the understanding you need at that moment. And energy, energy is always moving and changing. So you can pull card. you can ask the same question every day and pull cards and yes, you're going to get some of the same ones, but you're going to get different ones too, because the energy is changing and shifting and you can benefit from that. All right, we're starting with the Queen of Swords. She's a let's get the business done queen. <laughs> She's let's use your intellect and your wisdom and your knowledge and your experience queen. Let's take all that goodness that you have achieved and apply it. Let's create something with it. Let's create something that honors your thoughts and your intellect while bringing you goodness and money and, and success. She's get the business done queen. And right next to her is the ace of swords. So the queen, she's the solutions. She's getting things done. The ace is the beginning, the very beginning. You've got to start somewhere. You've got to take that first step. And yes, you might be daunted by those ideas. And yes, you might be thinking you're never going to get over that beginning hump, but you will. And once you get through that first kind of tricky, viney, difficult bit, then you get the amazingness. Then you start getting the instant outcomes. So get over the hump. Allow yourself to apply your ideas, to apply your intellect, to apply your thoughts, to create something. You're creating something here. And the King of Pentacles is promising you amazing outcomes. The abundance, the quality of life, the value, fulfillment, the prosperity, the money, the health, the healing. He covers all those categories and he's giving you positive, wonderful outcomes in those things. So don't get stuck in the past. Don't try and convince yourself that you want to do something the way you did it before, because it's not going to work. We're in a different time now. We're in a different energy pattern now. You have to do things the way now requires them to be done. Yes, you can pull the goodness from the past, but don't get stuck in the past. Don't get stuck in telling that story of what happened before and how you want to recreate it, because that's just making things kind of grind to a halt. Don't do that. I love the sun, the center card here, everything radiating out, happiness. This card is not complicated. <laughs> it's simply joy, happiness, the innocence of happiness, and having boundaries with anything that interferes with your happiness. Make your personal happiness your ultimate goal. Then you're going to see the stability. And right here underneath this king, we've got the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight is on a quest for stability, for security, for money that's going to grow, for health that's going to improve, for promotions, for better professional alignment, for that quality of life that you have been seeking and the stability that matters to you. So again, <laughs> not going to the past. Stop telling the story of what happened before. That was before, almost like a past life. You can enjoy what happened before, but now, now you're all about the new opportunity, the new experience, the new way of doing things. You've got to shake it up. You've got to do it more relevantly for now for the energy of who you have become, the energy of who you are now. Allow new opportunities. Make a decision. Make a decision to participate with this queen and this ace of swords. This is the two of swords. It says, stop stalling. Stop just denying yourself. Let's make a decision 
to move on with our lives, to use all that amazing intellect and goodness and, and wisdom that you have. And the page says, yes, use this to get more information. Do the research, Google that thing, read about it, learn about it, YouTube it, figure it out from every angle so you know how you personally can make that successful. Wonderful energy this week. Kind of different cards here that we've had the past sort of many months. These are for sort of jump in and get it done. And here's some very clear directives of how you can move forward. Very nice energy. Enjoy this. Use this energy for yourself. Have a wonderful week. Think about learning tarot. I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.